Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be talking a lot about proxy services. First, I'm going to talk about the different types of proxies that are out there and what's good for what. Then we'll go into the best brands for proxies. Afterwards, we'll hit up the single best proxy service for sneaker botting or getting any sort of hype product in 2020. And finally, we'll cap it off. I'm going to show you how to implement all this stuff in code so you can use it with your own sneaker bot in Python. Stick around. All right, so regarding the types of different proxy services that are out there, there's a couple things to know. First off is that there's different types of IP services. So uh, you could have either a residential IP service or a data center IP service. And basically these distinguish you by showing a website what your traffic really looks like, where it's coming from, so to speak. So data center IPs are gonna be a little less reliable, but still I, I find pretty effective for a lot of this type of work. But residential IPs will be the your best bet for bypassing any sort of website security. It'll be almost impossible to detect that you're using a proxy service. As well, there are two different distinctions in the service type. So what the actual proxy service is going to do for you and there's either rotational or static. And I'm a big fan of rotational services personally. I think these are really great because it will allow you to automatically cycle between say 50,000 different IP addresses, which makes it really hard for any one website to ban all of the different IPs that you're going to be using. And it'll automatically happen. A lot of these services will set to rotate maybe once every minute, once every three minutes, once every five minutes. And on some of them, you can even configure how often they rotate. Okay, so I just want to show you guys real quick what service I personally think is the best. I do personally use this service. This is Storm Proxies, and they have I, rotational IP services for specifically some of the stuff that you guys are going to be wanting to use it on. Supreme, Nike, Yeezy, Adidas, and other sneaker sites. Uh, I think they're really great, like especially bang for the buck. You know, for 160 bucks a month, you're going to get access to 40,000 residential IPs. They also have other services, but this is their service, which is geared specifically for sneaker sites. And these guys are really, really great. I've been working with them for the last year or so now, and they update their IP pool, I'd say once every month or two, which keeps it from all the IP addresses and the, and the pool getting banned by the sites. And I think they offer really great prices. I'm going to have a link in the description below. It's an affiliate link, but guys, I would not recommend this service if I didn't personally use it myself and like it a lot. So check it out if you really are in need of any sort of IP proxy service. All right, so I think Storm Proxy is a really great service to get started, and honestly, for a lot of people that are just doing this as a hobby or maybe to get a couple pairs of sneakers for themselves, it's going to work very, very well. But if you want to take things to the next level, you really need to know that you're going to need multiple proxy services. And the reason I say that is because these proxy services are really a psychological game, right? So one drop, a proxy service that's working great, it's going gonna, it's gonna to pull in a whole bunch of different products for you and you're going to love it. The next drop, it might be completely dead and it can't win anything. Why is that? Well. I think that basically after the drop where it's extremely successful, a lot of people hear the success rates that other people have been having with that service. And so everyone flies on over to that service and jumps aboard. Uh, and now everyone is using the same pool of IP addresses, quickly gets banned. Okay, So you have to basically stay one step ahead of the competition if you're trying to treat this really seriously and make some serious money from this. Uh, that's why I recommend a couple different services. I, I'm also familiar, as well as Storm Proxies, I know that Proxy Rack is a pretty good service, as well as Smart Proxies, but really guys, there's a ton of them out there, and there's a lot of different good services. Uh, I still recommend Storm as my personal favorite, I've been using them for a really long time, but like I say, there's a lot of great services, and just be prepared, you know, you'll have to, you'll have to pay maybe two, three services every month. Alright, now there is one other thing I kind of want to mention here. If you really want to take it even further than what I just suggested with buying multiple different proxy services, you can actually either buy or lease your own IP addresses. There's websites out there that do this, and that's actually how a lot of these proxy services work, right? So 
whenever they switch out their pool of rotational IP addresses, really they're just leasing a new set of IP addresses from a bigger company. Now, this is a little bit expensive, and it's also rather complicated. I mean, this is not consumer friendly. Nonetheless, I'll have a link in the description below to a place you could go to to do something like that. I don't know if any members of the audience are interested, but just in case, it'll be there. And it's, it's something worth checking out anyways. It's just pretty interesting to know how these things really work at a fundamental level. Alright guys, I'm about to show you how to configure any of your bots to use any of the proxy services I just recommended, how to set everything up using Python, but first, it's time for the most important part of the video. I need you to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you. Okay, so in this example we're going to import a proxy into use with requests in Python. This is a very simple example. The first thing we'll have to do is import requests. Then we're going to go ahead and type out our proxy here. Note guys, this proxy number is just something I made up. This is not a real proxy number. You'll have to get your own. But um, if you do order through Storm or any other service like that, it will look like this. And what's great about those services is once you plug in this number, it will automatically rotate the underlying IP address. So you don't really have to worry about updating anything in your script. You just plug it in once and your IP address is going to be rotating on its own. Next, we'll go ahead and set our URL. Right here, I just put our desired scraping site.com, but you can put in whatever website you want to scrape from. And then finally, I implement our requests call and I get the URL and I plug in proxies. Okay, so the next example is a little bit more complicated than just using requests with Python. This example is using the Selenium web driver, which is pretty useful if you ever want to do full browser emulation. It's just a lot faster to do using Selenium than with requests. Uh, so we'll start out and we'll import WebDriver from Selenium. Uh, we'll define our proxy IP. And again, guys, this is not one that you can actually use. We'll plug in the Selenium proxy into the Selenium proxy option. We'll define Chrome options with the web driver. This is important. This is how you can actually send the proxy into Selenium. We'll add our argument for a Selenium proxy. And then finally, we'll go ahead and initialize a driver. And we're being very careful here, guys, to also initialize our Chrome options at the same time that we initialize the driver. This is very important. If you don't do that step, then your proxy won't get used. So you have to make sure to initialize the Chrome options when you initialize the driver. All right, guys, I hope you found that useful. I hope you're able to set up proxy services for yourself and your own bots now. Remember to hit the subscribe button down below, hit the notification bell, and if you haven't already, make sure to head over to straightcodehypeschool.com. There's going to be a link in the description below. You can sign up with your email address there. You'll stay completely up to date on all of the stuff that we do. And as well, all of these code snippets will be available for download right behind sign up page on our website. Thanks for watching.